Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Polyglot coders is currently in vogue in the world of programming. And that explains why programmers are now eager to learn other programming languages other than the one that they've already mastered. Upskilling is the need of the hour, and as a Java programmer, you should also make the most of this opportunity. In the dynamic field of technology, new inventions are always lined up where mastering one single programming language may not be enough. And this is where multiple programming languages comes in handy. As a polyglot coder, you're sure to get an edge over others since you would be a powerhouse of requisite skills all on your own. And for someone well-versed with Java, picking another language will be seamless. Before you actually sign up to learn a new programming language, the first thing you need to do is polish your Java skills. You're already comfortable with practically applying the language to different work projects, but now it's the time to go beyond and explore. Different platforms like CodeChef, CodeGym, and Code Wars will help you hone your existing Java skills, right from brushing up with the basics to stepping up to the advanced levels. These platforms will help you gradually relearn the nitty gritty of Java. Once you're well versed with Java, then it's time to pick something new. So as a Java programmer, what are the other programming languages that you can learn? Well, in today's video, we will look at Java virtual machine based languages. Your clarity with Java will help you easily switch to these languages as you learn them. So let's have a look at three Java virtual machine languages. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by leaving a comment in the comments section down below. Also, let us know in the comments how long you've been programming in Java. Now let's jump into it. Kotlin. This statically typed programming language runs on Java Virtual Machine. Kotlin is an open source programming language and can compile down Java easily. Since it's similar to Java, Kotlin can be used along with it in different projects. It's also possible for you to switch from Java to Kotlin in the middle of a project and it would turn out just fine you wouldn't really face any transition hiccups. Ever since it's launched by JetBrains Team Blog, Kotlin is now one of the most popular programming languages. Almost 30% of developers prefer Kotlin versus Java for their projects, which only explains its increasing popularity. The amazing thing about Kotlin is that it's flexible and can be used to develop a wide variety of applications, right from web applications, game development, to IoT applications. You can do it all with Kotlin. Google is one of the most popular applications of Kotlin. Along with this, other brands like Trello, Netflix, Uber, Amazon, the list goes on and on, also use Kotlin. Groovy. This object-oriented programming language can be used both as a programming and scripting language. Based on Java Virtual Machine, it's compiled to the Java Virtual Machine bytecode. And due to this, it can effortlessly interoperate with Java code and libraries. Launched in 2007, Groovy supports various markup languages such as HTML and XML. And just like Kotlin, applications of Groovy are also diverse. You can make web applications, mobile applications, and a lot more. This super version of Java offers many productivity features such as DSL support, closures and dynamic typing, and static compiling and modularity. As a Java developer, Groovy is an excellent language for you to start with. The learning curve is great since it has similar behavior to Java. The syntax of Groovy is just like Java, yet a lot more time saving. Using Groovy over Java will only save a lot of your time and effort while boosting your productivity as a developer. The code is reusable and can be easily integrated with the existing interface. Is that enough reasons to get Groovying already? Scala. Introduced in 2003 by Martin Odersky, Scala is another statically typed Java virtual machine based programming language. It follows the WARA principle, also known as write once, run anywhere, and is purely an object oriented functional programming language. Scala is a compact, fast and efficient programming language, which is why it gains an edge over Java and many other programming languages out there. In fact, it was introduced to fill in the gaps of the then version of Java, which is why it doesn't feature any of the drawbacks of its older version. In fact, at the time, it was speculated that Scala would ultimately replace Java. Things didn't really work out completely in favor of Scala thanks to the brand new Java 8, which introduced a bunch of new features while overcoming drawbacks of the previous version. But despite this, Scala still remains a good option to learn for developers, 
and can be used to develop complex applications. With many top brands using Scala, it's now become hugely popular across the world. In the past few years, many budding businesses are using Scala to build their applications. The concise and easily readable programming languages have quite a fan base across the world. It's super easy to write, compile, and debug Scala codes. This expressive programming language has a lot of demand out there currently, which is why developers can choose to learn it. There are also some other languages that you can consider as well. Aside from the ones that we've already mentioned, you can also consider learning other Java virtual machine based languages such as Clojure and C Sharp. These languages are easy to pick up and have a lot of scope, which is why you can consider learning them too. As a developer, Learning new programming languages is the only way to stay in touch with the changing requirements of the technological world. This is why every software developer should aim to master multiple programming languages. While it is possible to build your career with only the help of Java, a little extra effort to learn something new will help you in the long run. All of the mentioned languages bring a unique set of features that can be blended seamlessly with Java to deliver excellent results. So why not begin with one of them? There are many online courses that will help you get started. So sign up for one of them now. So there we have it, the best languages for Java programmers. Let us know in the comments which one you're going to learn next. Once again, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.